In today's video, we have a really, really special interview with Matt, who is the founder of Estate.ai, an agency making around $300,000 a month revenue. And in today's video, he's going to show us the ins and outs of his agency and why it's a different type of agency that is really just not similar to the traditional model that you might think of because it actually incorporates both a software and a community component. And Matt, by the way, is a member of 300 Agencies, so you can find him in the Discord if you're a member of 300 Agencies. Uh, but if you're not, we're gonna be doing a few live streams and we're gonna have those uh, recorded, uh, basically live stream Q and A's with Matt from the Discord and we're gonna have those recorded and reposted on the free course, which you can get in the description below. So with that being said, Let's get straight into the interview. All right, guys. So we're here with Matt Shields. Uh, Matt is the founder of Estate AI, one of the biggest real estate agencies in the game right now, probably the biggest. He makes around $300,000 a month, absolutely killing it. And today he's going to talk about how he got started. He actually started around a year ago. Is that correct? Yeah, this agency started a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to let you introduce yourself, man. Yeah, let's do it. Um, I can just share my screen and dive right in if that's cool. Yeah, sure. Uh, hold on. I always forget. There that's you go. Cool. Awesome. All right, let's dive in. Cool. Is that showing? Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, dude, let's just dive right in. So this is exactly how we scaled our brand new agency to $300,000 per month in under a year's time using something that we call the new hybrid model. So this is, I, I think, going to be a really, really valuable video. This is something that not a lot of people talk about, uh, but we're going to break it down today. So my goal with this is to help you guys survive what's about to come because I think a lot of agency owners and I think a lot of the businesses that they serve are in for a very rude awakening with the way the economy is going and with the current economic environment we're in. The current lead gen SMMA model, I think, is going to die very, very soon, um, or at least it's going to cap out at a certain threshold. So my goal with this video and with hopping on with Thomas is to help you guys prep for what's about to come. And the reason I'm making this and the reason I've built the agency I have is because Alex Ramosi told me to. So Alex Ramosi actually told me he hates the agency business model. And since he's the guy at the top of the digital marketing space, when he said those words to me, my mindset shifted and it changed the way I view the entire business we're in because when Alex Ramosi talks, you listen, right? So, and he actually said this to me on a call and this is my goofy face I made when he told me this. This was literally the moment where he said, I actually hate the, the agency business model. And my partner and I were like, oh shit, we're doing something wrong. Yeah, we so, gotta change something quick. We gotta change something quick and not just the haircut, but anyway. Um, I'm going to share with you why that is and what I think you can do about it to transform your agency and build something that not only survives what's going to come, but actually thrives in what's going to come. So if you're like, who the fuck is this kid? I haven't seen him promoting his agency accelerator program. Like, who is this guy? Um, I don't have a course or a program or anything like that. I hit up Thomas because I think what he's doing with this YouTube channel is incredible. And I wish somebody was making videos like this when I first started four years ago. Um, again, my name's Matt. I've been in this game for a little bit. And the only thing I'll really hit you guys with here, I'm not going to make this like a, a huge storytelling um, video. But when I first started in the agency space, I was an entirely different person. I was super lost. I was depressed. I was scared. I was just down bad. Like there's no other way to put it. I was down really, really bad. And the worst part was I was hopeless. Like I was in all these feelings of depression and angst and I didn't see a way out. I was just completely lost in my life. And then I saw these videos of people making money online and I didn't go to high school. I dropped out of ninth grade. I didn't go to college. I went to YouTube and I went to YouTube University and it changed my life. So that's a little bit about me. That's why I wanted to hit up Thomas and be a part of this. Videos like this literally changed my entire life, allowed me to build a decently successful agency, travel the world, um, meet amazing people here like Joel and Sergio, which some of you guys know, and just live a life I didn't think was possible. So that's a little bit of a background on me, but let's dive into what we're actually here to talk about. This is the old model that 
I believe Hermosi hates. Well, I know Hermosi hates, and I believe is going to die very, very soon. You do something loud. You get a client to meet with you over a Facebook DM. Maybe you send them a cold loom. Maybe you make a cold call. Maybe you run an ad and you get that person to meet with you, hop on a sales call. You collect that Stripe credit card. You get that $9.97 a month subscription going. You send that person some leads. They say, these leads suck. And they say, we didn't get that 30 appointment guarantee that you promised in 30 days. So we want a refund and we want to cancel. You don't give them a refund, but you let them cancel. And then you go on and you find the next person and you redo the process over and over again. And this is what I was doing for three years straight. And I just couldn't like before this agency, Estate AI, I built five different agencies. We would get to 10K a month, 20K a month, and then we would die and we would do it again. And then we would die. We would try different niches and it just nothing changed. So this is the old model that I think is dead. And then this, this is the new hybrid model that I think is going to take over our space across the next 18 to 36 months. Everything is the same about this model, except for one key component. You're still meeting business owners through cold calls. You're still doing looms. You're still running ads. You're still getting appointments, hopping on sales calls, making an offer, uh, collecting that credit card info, getting that client. You're still running ads and generating leads, but you're doing one key thing differently. You're now building a community and a coaching program full of your clients that they can network and mastermind in. So you're adding on a consulting and mastermind component to your agency so you can deliver way more value to your clients than anybody else in your space. Business is a game of competitive advantages and leads are not a competitive advantage anymore. Anybody can do that. Anybody can hire a media buyer from the Philippines or from the US or anywhere and just provide leads. That is not enough anymore. So building a coaching and consulting company on top of your agency is what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to break down exactly how we did this at Estate AI, how it changed our entire business, and how it's, I think, changing the entire industry, to be honest. So when you do this, instead of getting a cancellation call, you get clients who actually love what you do, love to be a part of your company, and actually enjoy the fact that they bought your product or service. And I think business is a game of realizing your happiness and realizing your own self-respect for yourself. It's not about making money because anybody can make money selling something shitty and then lose the money the next day. This is just a way more fulfilling way of playing the game as well. So people actually enjoy what you sell. They actually enjoy your product or service. Um, and this is kind of the two main components of it. There's the lead generation, which we all know and love. And now there's a community and a mastermind and coaching program on top of that agency, right? And the really cool thing about this model is it creates a flywheel effect within your agency. You're providing leads and the better the leads get, the better the community and the mastermind gets because now people will go in and make more posts and talk to more of the other clients in the community. They'll share more of their strategies and tips, which then makes the results from the lead gen better, which then makes the mastermind better and so on and so on. And so it creates the flywheel effect, which is the secret to companies like Amazon's massive success. So you're creating a product that gets better without you even need to needing to improve the product because you have a community of people who are using your product and just making it better with the strategies and the tips that they are learning. And then they share it with each other, they grow together, and it creates a flywheel within your agency. And this is how you can build an insanely valuable product for your clients. So the actual secrets to a state AI's community and how we built a 300K a month client community, the first things first is a private Facebook um, group for all of our clients. So all of our clients have a private Facebook group that they all join. We call it seven figure agent. I'll actually pull back the curtains here and dive into it. All of our clients make posts and I'm going to break down this post by Jennifer in a second, because I think it's super important to what we're talking about, but all of our clients make posts. You see, uh, this is one of our new clients, Devante. He's introducing himself. He's talking to other agents. Everybody's networking and engaging with him. People are posting them doing the work. Um, they're asking questions about how do I, you know, get in touch with somebody. They're communicating with each other. We're making posts in the group. Everybody's just talking with each other, networking and communicating. Um, I want to break down this post by Tamara too. She's just given an update with the entire group. And you can see people are commenting, engaging, liking, and we're building a community. People are seeing other clients. They're seeing other people win with the system. So what this is doing is it's creating an environment and a psychological shift in the client's mind of 
this system works, but I have to make it work. Most clients will buy your product. They'll, they'll test out your leads. And then if it doesn't work, they put it on you and they say, Thomas, these leads suck. Or, you know, Matt, these leads, we're not getting any closings. This is a scam. Like we want to refund. This sucks. But when they can see other clients who are successful with it, it creates a mindset shift within their, their own mind. And now they realize it works, but they have to make it work. And so they can't put the blame on you anymore. None of our clients come to us and say these leads are bad. Because if they come to us and they say the leads suck, we're just going to say, go to the Facebook group. And then tell me again that the leads suck because it's just not possible. Why are people like Tamara saying, I just had a phone consultation with an estate AI lead. He wants to list with me soon. I've called and texted other leads that I haven't spoken to yet about to do another appointment. Um, and she says, I've been in this program since August and it has been great. But until this week, I have not been taking full advantage. We create a community and environment where people will put the responsibility and the accountability on themselves rather than the leads. And that is the main goal with this community. People no longer are viewing you as a lead gen company. They're viewing you as something much more than that. The last thing I'll show in this group, and Thomas, if you want me to dive in deeper to a certain part, just let me know. But the last thing I'll show in this group is this post by Jennifer. So she's one of our best clients. She's a badass and she's honestly becoming a leader in this community without us even asking her to. She starts to make posts. She starts to share what she's doing with the leads, the script she's using, the way she's approaching the appointments. She's dropped so many gems to all of the other clients on how she's succeeding with the program. And it's enhanced the value of our entire service just by her alone sharing what's working for her. So she says, I've been with the state AI since October. I've gotten 24 leads total in this time. And here's the breakdown of what has happened so far. I have two listings. One's live today and one's coming in January. Listings are basically just closings for realtors. Um, you can actually see the lead we got her. Her sign is in the yard. So she actually got the deal closed and signed. These are two homes that are probably 400000 each. And on two $400,000 homes, she'll probably net $24,000 in commission. So she's going to make $24,000 off of $700 in ad spend in her first month. So she's got two listings in her first month. She has four maybes, people that she's met in person but are waiting to actually sell. And then she has six scheduled appointments for next week. So she breaks all this down. She says, so all of that noise and my stats boil down to 13 out of 24 positive, if not downright excellent outcomes. That's some good ish right there, she says. So if a client ever comes to me and they're like, my leads suck, I'm just going to tag them in this post. I'm just going to tag Mr. Client and I'm going to say, read this post and tell me that the leads suck. Because how is it possible that Jennifer is in one of the toughest lead quality markets in the world, Florida, and she's getting 13 out of 24 excellent outcomes? The thing about this is I could give these same 24 leads to another agent in the exact same area. And they could come to me and say, I got zero out of 24 positive outcomes. They could say, these leads sucked. These leads did not work. But because Jennifer followed our course, she followed this model that we've created. She talks to her coach. She shows up to our mastermind calls, which we'll break down in a little bit. And she actually takes action on all the value we provide outside of just the leads. She's able to have a ton of success and create an environment of success within our client group. So that's the client Facebook community. That's how that works. Um, that's kind of how we've built it. Clients make posts, they share strategies, all that good stuff. And then the second part of this, where the community really starts to build is daily live mastermind calls. Yesterday, we had one with our sales manager. We had about 40 agents come onto that call and do a sales masterclass. One per week is enough to get started. I would say don't do any of this until 20 to 30 clients. So this isn't like a, a brand new SMMA, start building your community from day one. I would recommend getting to 20 to 30 clients first and then starting with a once per week live masterclass. Um, you can talk about anything in these masterclasses. We'll break down exactly what we make our calls about. But starting with one per week is enough to start. Eventually, you get to the point where you're doing them every single day. And now you're providing a daily live coaching call on top of all of your leads. No other agency can compete with you when you do that. Because if somebody comes to me and they're talking to a competitor and they're considering us versus the competitor and they're like, yeah, this competitor runs ads too. They get leads. I'll say, well, we do that too. But then we also do all of this, this, and this for the same price. So they, they can't even compete with you anymore if you really can master this model, right? So that's kind of the mastermind calls. Uh, we'll show an actual example of one, um, but that's kind of how it works. And then we have a client course 
called Seven Figure Agent. Thomas and I were just talking about this, where we show all of our recorded masterclasses. We go over scripts, we go over role plays, we go over a ton of good stuff. And you can actually hire guests who are experts in your industry to build out sections of the course for you. So if you know somebody in your industry who's an expert at a certain thing, or maybe you have a client who's really good at a certain thing, you can pay them to build the course for you. And then you can just add on the course to what you're selling to your clients and make your product way more valuable. And also you can charge more if you have the course too. So you can just pay somebody to build it and then you just add it into your sales process. Thomas, is this making sense so far? Do you want me to dive in deeper to a specific thing or how is this resonating so far? Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's a, it's a very good um, way of doing things. Cool, cool. We'll dive in. I'll actually show you guys the course um and what we are actually showing our clients so this is right on ghl it's native to high level um first things first it's like a most important video first video to watch ever it's me breaking down expectations why they should listen to us all of that good stuff we're going over how to set up the crm um we have an ai component to our crm as well so we go over like how to manage the ai and then this video right here i want to point out because it's super super key it says before you ever contact a lead watch this video and every client in every niche needs a video like this because 99.9% .9 of local businesses are approaching online leads the wrong way. So we brought on this guest, this guy, Barry Jenkins. This guy, Barry Jenkins, he's a real estate agent who sells 900 homes per year. He's an absolute beast. He's one of the most successful realtors in the entire world. All I did was shoot him a message on Facebook and say, hey, would you be open to hopping on to my group of realtors and sharing how you've become so successful with online leads? And he said, sure, when can I do it? And so he hopped on and he gave this masterclass. He had no idea who I was. He had no idea about anything we were doing. I just shot him a message and I said, would you be against hopping on? So he hopped on and dropped an insanely valuable masterclass. Now we have this content we can redistribute in our course to every agent who ever comes through our program. This call alone is probably worth $1,000. So now it's just another thing we add on to our program. And after this call, because Barry got to experience the community, he got to see what we were building. He actually gave us a massive compliment and he said, you guys are building something really special here. So after the call, I followed up with Barry and I said, dude, what would it take to make you a coach in our program? We talked, we came up with a, an agreement and now he's our new coach. So now we have one of the most successful realtors in the world coaching and doing live calls with all of our agents on how they succeed, not just with leads, but in business in general. And he's able to coach our clients um, and we're giving him our system for free in exchange for that. And it's a no brainer for us to do that. So now we've just added on one of the most successful realtors in the entire world to be one of our coaches. This is way deeper than Legion, right? It's way deeper. So um, that's the course. I'll leave it at that. There's some more stuff like we go over certain pillars. Pillar one is set appointments. We're teaching them all about how do you set more appointments with leads? How do you find other marketing strategies? Like it, it's very niche specific, specific. So we have door knocking, we have FISBOs, um, different ways of generating leads and de generating appointments because all the business needs to be successful, they need to set appointments and close appointments. And I get that 100% from Joel Kaplan. So I'll give Joel uh, credit for that. Set appointments, close appointments. If a business can do that, they can make six figures, if not multiple six figures. And it's the same thing for an agency. So we're teaching them all about that. Now that you have appointments, how do you actually close those appointments? How do you get sales? How do you actually master that? Uh, so we have sales training as well. And then we do, we're doing a lot of client success interviews. So this is like one of our clients, Lori Seward, talking about how she's crushed it with the system. When, it, when clients come on and they listen to one of our most successful clients talk about how they win, there is no quitting. There is no um, giving up on the system. It's only a matter of how do I make it work? Not if it works, but how do I make it work? And then pillar three that we teach is how do you actually scale up a real business, fire yourself from the business and build a team. So we are no longer a digital marketing company for real estate agents. We are the go-to authorities and experts in our industry about scaling a real estate company. And it's way deeper than Legion, as I've probably said a thousand times so far. So let's knock out this last slide. I think there's like one or two more. So if you're wondering, does this actually work? Does this actually get better results for the clients? Um, and does it actually help the clients make more money? Because at the end of the day, we are here to make the clients more money. I'll just show you guys our, our testimonial wall. We probably have, and this is probably the thing I'm the most proud of. We have probably more 
success interviews and case studies than any other agency in any niche. I would put this testimonial wall, which is like pages, pages long up against anybody else in the game because we've created this community. All of these posts, I got my first listing today. Listing appointment set, $1 million property. I have my first listing appointment tomorrow from an estate AI lead just one week in. To anyone who hasn't made the call yet, what are you, stupid or something? A steady eye stands high above the rest. These are our clients commenting on our ads because we've built a community. So the last thing I will show on this specific topic, I'll actually let one of my clients share their perspective on what we're doing because it's easy for me to sit here and say it's great and that you should do it in your agency too. And honestly, it's up to you. But how do the clients feel about it? How does it actually impact them? So I'll play you guys a quick video from one of our clients, David. Can you hear that all right, by the way, Thomas? Yeah, maybe increase the volume a little bit. Let me yeah. switch the mic real quick. All right. I'd like to give a That's shout out to Jared and Matt for their tireless and endless commitment to providing all of us agents the very best in marketing, in sales techniques and coaching i'm just blown away i can't imagine when i was in my 20s uh matter of fact i remember being in my 20s nobody wanted to listen to us younger guys because we didn't know anything um i'm just blown away you guys are the real deal so impressed with everything that you guys bring uh the way you, you're able to pivot uh and and just recreate uh the business model that you have david says something really really key he says the way you're able to pivot. And David doesn't really say anything about leads. He doesn't talk about lead gen. He's talking only about the community, the sales training, the techniques, and the coaching. And he talks about pivoting because 12 months ago when we started, we were just a lead gen company. And our clients would stay for like two months at a time. We barely had any client results. We barely had any wins. And we decided to make a pivot because we were part of Joel Kaplan's agency group. And we saw how he trained agencies. And we were like... Man, we got to recreate that in the agent space. We have to recreate that for realtors. And so we just took that model, recreated it for realtors, and then everything shifted. Clients started winning. They started getting results. They started making money. They started sharing it with all the other clients in the group, and the entire business changed. So that's kind of what we're getting at here. Thomas, you asked me to show my ads manager and if I could dive into like GHL and stuff. And honestly, our ads have not changed in the last year. Like the ads are, our ads are very, very minimal in regards to the value of our program. And it's, it's almost nothing. We're doing so much more than that when it comes to the community and coaching. So I could show the ads and stuff, but it's honestly, it doesn't compare to what we're actually building, which is the, the community and the program. So yes, this does actually work and it will have a massive impact on your agency in the real estate world, average churn or average retention is 61 days. So most agencies keep their clients for 61 days and then the client leaves and they have to go find the next client. For us, our average churn, I can actually pull this up. Our average churn, which I think in the real estate world, if you do 61 days, that's like, I don't know, that's like 40% churn month over month. Our average churn would be, let's see. If I'm showing too much, dude, just let me know. But um. November month to date to month to date churn for November was 4%. That's with over 200 clients. So this works. And real estate agents are one of the hardest niches to retain clients because a lot of them don't have that much money, to be honest. So yes, yeah. this does actually work. Um, yeah. And um, want, what, just one quick question. What's your pricing? So great question. Our pricing actually is not raised since we started. It's 997. It's, we do pay in full, so we do PIFs, and that's a big tip I give, I'll give. i give to anybody. If you want to improve your retention just overnight, charge clients a discount if they pay six months in full up front, uh, and then use that money to reinvest into ads. So it's 6000 for six months for our main program, and if they want to do month to month, it's 1497 a month. So we give them those two options. Uh, almost everybody does the pay in full. So then right there, you're committed to six months right away. So your client retention is going to be at least six months because they've paid in full. Cool. So let's see. I think that's like the last thing. I know what a lot of people are probably feeling right now. And you and I talked about this yesterday, dude, is like, 
well, I don't know anything about building a medical practice or I don't know anything about building a gym. So how am I going to build a coaching program for my niche? Like this is just a whole different thing. The simple answer is you don't have to be the one to do it. For us, for for our company, I don't know shit about being a real estate agent. I don't know anything about selling a house or how to, I don't know, help people find a home. Like I don't know anything about being a realtor. But as the owner of the company, I know how to find people who do know those things. And I just bring them in and I leverage their expertise. And I'm basically just building their it's what's called a synthesizing business model, if I'm not mistaken, where you just leverage somebody else's expertise or product or service and then combine it into your own product or service. So Facebook ads is a synthesizer business model because we're not the ones running the advertising platform. We're going to Facebook and we're running Facebook ads on that platform, right? So if you don't think you can build the coaching program, I would just challenge you to say, do you think you could build the advertising platform? Like you don't need to build Facebook in order to run Facebook ads. You don't need to build the coaching program yourself in order to add on the coaching program. You just need to find somebody who's an expert, partner with them, get them to start doing calls with your group, and you can build the group that way. So um, let's get tactical. This will be the last thing I show. I know we're going a little bit long here. But this is the entire breakdown of the the hybrid model, exactly how it works. Um, I'll give you guys a couple of like free PDF goods things at the end, just so you can have them. Um, but essentially when a new client joins, we walk them through an anti-buyer's remorse call. That's just like a welcome call from myself or somebody else on the team, making sure they don't have buyer's remorse, making sure they're excited to join, hyping them up. Then we walk them through an onboarding workshop that is 160 slides. Every single client who ever joins our company goes through this, this entire slide deck. And this is something you guys can do right now to improve your retention drastically like right away so i'll show you just briefly what our slide deck looks like and i know joel was talking about this with you too thomas but basically it's uh very in-depth welcome to the family slide number four we literally say to the clients we provide leads but we are not a legion company like this we're literally saying we're not a facebook ad agency <laughs> like that's not us we are real estate growth partners and consultants helping realtors scale across the entire country we're not an agency you outsource your marketing to where your coaches and partners. So now we have shifted their mindset in how they think about us and how they talk to us, right? And then we're walking them through all of this. We're putting all of it on them. If they want to succeed with the program, uh, they have to follow what we're teaching and they have to make the most of it. At the end, we give them a recap and we break down the program like this. It's 25% Legion. It's 25% one-on-one coaching. It's 25% our mastermind and community, and then it's 25% our course that we're actually delivering for them. So that's how we break it down. Leads are now just a fraction, like literally a fraction of what we're providing to them. And we're doing it for the same price as any other agency in our space. So that's kind of how it works. That's an, um, an onboarding deck that you can run people through. If you want to go this model, I'll send this to you, Thomas, and we can like link yeah. it in the description. How, how long is, a, is, a, is like this call with your new clients, by the way? Any guesses? Any guesses? It might shock you. One hour? I don't know. 90 minutes. So every it's 90 oh, minutes. Wow. Every single okay. client is going through an hour and a half long call. We do it group model now. So we're bringing on five clients at a time just because our sales team is closing like 10 clients a week. We're doing these in, in two times a week group classes. Um, and if people want, I can post like a video to my YouTube of one of our coaches actually going through it and setting the expectation. I can just give you guys like a real example, but yeah, it's about 90 minutes long. It's very in depth. We get them to talk um, and engage. And then we're obviously going through the, all these slides too. And it's very hard for a client to not understand how to make the most of the program when they go through this deck, like this immediately will change your client results overnight. So that's how that part works. Then they have an implementation pathway call. So the cool thing about our business, dude, is all of our account managers are actually real estate agents who are licensed, have done the thing that we teach, and are actually coaches. So our account managers are coaches. And so every person that, that a client is working with or all of the um, people that the clients talk to are actually licensed realtors as well. So they don't view us as like some marketing company out of their mom's basement. They view us as again, like a real estate consulting company. So the first call that happens after the onboarding workshop is an implementation pathway call. And that's basically a one-on-one -on -one strategy call. So that's a breakdown and a diagnosis call of where that agent's at and how they can get to the next level. Then they have weekly one-on-one -on -one calls 
um, et cetera, et cetera, uh, monthly one-on-one -on -one calls, that whole thing. And then another cool thing that our agency has done is graduation calls. And these are basically upsells. So our client experience has become so good that instead of people wanting to leave, they want to buy more from us. And we had a coach or I guess an account manager as uh, they would be typically referred to. We had a coach do 20,000 in sales in the last two weeks, just from graduation calls. And almost all of that is profit because we don't have to pay to acquire that customer. We've already acquired them and now we're just selling them more things. So that's another really valuable thing about doing this is you can do upsells, cross sales, all of that stuff. Um, and then we already went down the course and how all that works. The last thing I will show, and I guess we can leave it at this, is what are you actually making content about on your mastermind calls? So for us, um, they're daily. We do Monday sales training. You can just find a sales expert. Doesn't even need to be somebody in your niche. If you just find a really good salesperson who knows online leads, you can find that person tomorrow. You can bring them in and have them start doing sales trainings. Tuesday, we bring on our most successful client to share how they win with the system. Wednesday, we bring on a guest speaker. So just a guest in our industry who's an expert on a certain topic. Thursday, we go over mindset and getting people to think right about the business. And then Friday, it's kind of community building. This is something unrelated to business. This is something related to develop, developing them as people. So this might be like a guided meditation or like uh, journaling or like just networking and community building, right? So it's something a little bit less professional. Clients don't have to go to this call if they don't want to, but it can be super valuable. Uh, and the reason we do this is we're trying to develop people. We're not just trying to develop realtors. We're trying to develop people because businesses are just reflections of people. And so any business that fails is not a business that fails that failed. It's a group of people that failed. So if you can make the person better, you make their business better. So that's why we kind of go this personal approach of community building and lo leveling them up as people too. So that's the entire thing. Um, I hope this was valuable. I hope this was uh, kind of insightful. This is where I think the business is going and the industry is going. And you may not be at this stage yet to introduce something like this, but keep this in mind because the agencies that are going to crush it over the next few years are going to deliver the most amount of value to their clients for the most effective price. And you can't deliver the most value with just a CRM and leads anymore. I just don't think you can. So that's it. That's uh, the hybrid model. That's how it works. And yeah, dude, any questions or thoughts for me? Um, No, that's it. I mean, that was pretty crazy, man. Uh, I didn't even know you could have like, like, cause you, you have calls daily and like the, the, that last call where you do like meditations, like the community building aspect, I yeah, think that's yeah. like absolutely crazy. Yeah, um, man. like, yeah, I mean, it, it's really, it's really something you've built, honestly. And Thank you, dude. yeah, I see, I see how agencies like that can really monopolize the space, honestly. 100%. Um, it's like you're building another gym launch right dude uh, so it's super so, interesting it's so funny you say that because when we started the agency i probably have this message somewhere in my slack it's so funny you just brought that up when i partnered with um jared who's our ceo when he first joined i was like dude like what if we built a coaching company and we did more than leads and i was like what if we built the gym launch of the real estate space um and he was like yeah. nah that's crazy like we're not uh, that's kind of what we're trying to do so mm. um yeah, I appreciate that That's awesome. message, man. I hope this helps people. I hope this gives a, an idea of what we're transitioning into as an industry.